Hey guys, ShadowFireXD here, and welcome to another episode of Plague Inc. Now, today we're going to be playing the Necrovar virus. Sorry, whenever I... This was the one I unlocked last last episode, so let's continue on. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. Uh, whenever I... I just played around before this, and I got this. Uh, this stream, which is your play can mutate transmissions, but it's easier to cure. I'm just going to stick with Genetic Mimic, because that'll make it harder to cure. I'm going to stick with increased chances of spreading by land. Uh, everything is good there. And then this is all just special stuff for the zombie one. So let's continue. No, let's do it on normal. Let's do it on normal. Uh, displeased outburst. Sure, let's go with that. Now, I imagine that this will be fairly hard. Because I know that whenever I played this before, I had some trouble with it. So hopefully, it won't be as hard. Um, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to find a somewhat different strategy to use because I'm used to the air air transmission and the water transmission thing being like there and there. So it's gonna take a little getting used to. I'm also going to have to find a new sort of strategy to use. And also I don't get refund, I don't get uh, DNA refunds for uh, devolving stuff, so that's also going to be a little hard. And uh, yeah, things should run smoothly. 30 DNA points right now, Bank banks report record profits. Hm. So uh... Let's see, we're in Egypt, so let's increase the chances of it spreading by air. And then saliva, spreading through saliva. But you kind of find that a little weird, because how... When would you ever come in contact with someone else's saliva? Yeah. Yeah, I just... Uh, I don't go up to people and be like, Hey, let me taste your saliva! I mean, that, how else would it spread via saliva? I guess if you were to drink from someone else's drink, that would probably do it. But other than that, I'm really not sure how that would happen. Uh, let's see. So yeah, there we go. Water. Rio Olympics mystery. Then, uh, I should get that. The urogenital genital expansion virus able to replicate in kidneys and urinary tract increases infection through urine and other bodily fluids can't really say i've ever come into contact with someone else's uh urine yeah can't say that i have okay so now we can move on to this section get the stuff in here so let's see that is seven five and nine uh, 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 9 is 21, so in order to get all of those, I'm going to need 23 DNA points to get them in just one foul swoop. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it won't take too long to get that. If it does take a while, I'll just get them sort of slowly, one at a time. But, uh, looks like her disease is spreading fairly good now. Uh, yeah. So, uh... And yeah, just moving along. Uh. Okay, get all those. Uh, let's see. All right, 20 right now, so we just need... What did I say? Three more DNA points and we should be able to get it? There we go. One, two... Just one off. Off by one. And there we go. So now it should spread a little easier in all countries. Yeah, I know I know this will be hard because this has the uh government sort of fortifications that they can set up in different countries. So I know that that will be hard. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. 
I should also get that because I know that'll be useful whenever they start coming out with a cure or start developing a cure. Uh, let's get all those. Festival of Love in Iceland. Okay. Uh, I think I'll get the Zoonotic Shift. I think that'll be useful. Uh, yeah. I also like the music for this. This is a little different music. Or this is different music than they use for the normal diseases. And I kind of like it that they add new music in for different, uh, for these different special diseases. Uh, yeah. Hyper salivation symptom mutated. So now people are making saliva a little more. New minor disease spreading. Um, uh, yeah. Central Asia starts work on cure. Uh, let's see, should I get... Yeah, then I'll get bird. Just so they'll be able to spread faster through land. Scientists concerned about displeased outburst. And they're like, oh no, it's causing people to go into these displeased outbursting rages. That, that That's kind of why we call it that, displeased outburst. And not some other weird scientific name. Like, I don't know, necrovirus or whatever. Uh... Polyphagia symptom mutated. What is that one? Uh, compulsive hunger forces continuous eating. Lack of hygiene increases risk of infection. Upper salivation. Inflammation in the submandiary gland increases salivation production and infection rates. Uh, gastro on gastroenteritis. Inflammation of the GI tra tract causes frequent vomiting, increases infection rates. That is nasty. I should probably get that. Even if it's nasty. I know there's an achievement in this game if you're able to win a game of the no necrovirus without, kill without turning anyone into zombies. Which I imagine would be a little hard. Displays outburst genome fully sequenced. No, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not necessary. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's go ahead and get that, and then we can move on to auto, to either autophagia or cannibalism, which autophagia is basically you just eat your fingers and parts of your skin, and cannibalism, no, I, I don't think there's really any need to explain this, just you eat other humans. You're so hungry that you're like, mmm, delicious humans, blah blah blah. Insomnia is something mutated, so now that reduces the infectivity a little bit. So, leading the global cure for which... Okay, yeah, we don't get uh, DNA points back, so... I'll get cannibalism, and then next up is the cytopathic reanimation, which basically turns people into zombies. First death in Korea. Because people are like, nom 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 nom, yummy humans. Global research is focused on the cure. Once I create zombies, they will not be able to cure my disease. Or at least the zombies. Which, it's gonna take a while to get that 13 points. I'm already a little over halfway there, but they're almost done with the cure. Crap, they're probably gonna cure it before I get a zombie in. Which is not good cure that crap. Now we get autophagia. Still don't have enough to get that. They've already come out with a cure for it, so people are being rapidly cured. Rio Olympics is back on. Great. At least, you know, it's good to know that the Rio Olympics are back on, even though they've already happened. This police outburst begins to reanimate the dead. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I'm probably still gonna lose anyway. But, uh, let's see. Let's just slowly make them a little more deadly. So yeah, now they now they have more muscle build up and they are able to uh, sniff out any and all humans. Okay, so it looks like all of these countries have zombies, I think. I think that's why they're flashing. 
I believe so. Yeah, we're already up to uh, quite a few zombies. Displays out versus turning people into zombies. Faced with overwhelming, faced with overwhelming evidence, governments confirm that this police outburst can trigger pathogenic aggression in corpses and say that the situation is under control, which, let's face it, it's not. Especially not for me, I mean, I'm slowly, slowly building up zombies. Slowly. See, and I've also got these special moves here, I don't need to forget about those. Right now, I just need to worry about getting DNA points. Zcom project activated in Iceland. Great. I don't have zombies up there. Why would you do that? Why would you do that to me? Uh, go on. Why would you do that, Zcom? Go on. I, th I think your little tower thing is pretty cool that it stands out, but. Right, come on, why would you do that? Zcom is setting up a new base because there are no freaking zombies there. There are no freaking zombies there either. Authorities can't protect from displeased outbursts. Why do you keep setting up zombie protection outposts where there are no zombies? That doesn't make sense. They're growing stronger in Iceland. What do you know? What do you know? They're May as well get some stuff. Okay. Okay, so Central Europe does have some zombies. But uh, the zombies are not doing well. So we need to get stuff to help the zombies fight back. In the meantime, we're just killing off a bunch of different countries. Increase their grip strength. Running zombie washes up on beach of... Uh, didn't say... Oh, we're just killing off all the countries. Uh, what is this? Uh, Specifically increases muscle mass and weight of some zombies for parity. Okay, uh... Adrenaline Surge, uh... Here we go. Uh, zombies attract to movement and will abandon victims once dead. Okay, yeah, this will be very useful. We should also... Uh, spend some points here. Uh, we'll remain still waiting for humans to approach and reanimate zombies. Get combat advantage. Yes. How's this place doing? It's doing really good. Kind of. Uh, there we go. That'll increase their movement when going overseas. Okay, so X, send some zombies up there. Look at all the little zombies, they're like, rawr, 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 rawr. 12 zombies in Greenland now. And uh, now they're doing good. Zcom was destroyed in Colombia. Let's revive some zombies there. Uh. Let's have some zombies go down there. Um, what was this? Uh, enhanced neurological regenerative proteins allow zombies with severe head wounds to be reanimated. There we go. That place should be almost done by now. That, those zombies right there are dead. It's gonna be hard to kill off that base. Because that base has gone stronger. But, uh, yeah. We also need to try and focus on, uh, giving our zombies more abilities. And look, this is what our zombies are doing to people now. They have no nose, their teeth are just all kinds of messed up. Parts of their skull are exposed. Uh, also kind of looks like zombies have lost their, pot their posture. And, uh, yeah. 
just basically I don't want to do that. I don't want to, well, I don't want to become that. And look at how gross the little disease thing looks. It's like, blah, blah, blah. I'm just a glob of undeadness. Yeah. So anyway, this place should be finishing off soon. D bone dysplasia symptom mutated, which was that. Ooh, ooh, this is good. Gives zombies a significant combat damage. Protects them against trauma. Yes, yes. Uh, still need more. Like, the ability for them to shoot, like, become sniper zombies, just be like, <laughs> Uh, what is this? Uh, simulation of primary visual cortex improves the vision and bright sunlight significantly increases severity. Nice. Uh, thinning of the nasal ethylamidium, whatever, significantly he heightens zombie sense of smell. Hmm. So yeah. Yeah, this place should be finished off soon. That place is making its way up. So yeah. I need to get more zombies over there. So yeah, I'm just going to send some zombies over there. There are quite a few zombies left. And again, those guys are dead. See, soon this will be finished off, so that will give us some DNA points. This will be finished off soon also. It's a good thing they can't go to uh, uh, places that are already like completely dead. Like, they can't go to like Russia, which is already completely dead. Okay, so yeah, that's done. That's almost done. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get to that last base. Yeah. But, uh, we should have enough time to do a second round. Maybe we learned something from this. Maybe we didn't. Only one way to find out. Yeah, I think definitely the lesson to learn from this is to uh, not wait so long for them to come out with the cure, because then that gives us a great disadvantage. Okay, so yeah, now that's dead. Um, uh, yeah. There are only a few hundred thousand zombies left. Is it possible? No, it's not possible to revive them. Uh, there are only zombies over here. And... Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's the only place where we can get zombies from. Hey, we can revive some zombies over there. This please outburst is to be eradicated. Don't do this to me. No, no. Crap. Humans fought zombies in one. This please outburst is no longer a threat. Yeah, we actually did surprisingly good. I thought we would, uh lose there at the end whenever there was only uh, like a small percentage of infected left, but then we turned people into zombies and then that greatly turned the tide for us. But uh, yeah. Didn't get anything new because we didn't win, so let's do one more round. Uh, black Suffering, that sounds good. Uh, let's start on the same place. That should be good. Uh, yeah. Warning necrovirus has been identified. Yeah. So hopefully things should go better this round. Hopefully. Look at Egypt. Look at little Egypt. Yeah, I am a little country. I'm a little beady country. It's got a few people infected with my new disease, which was what black suffering. Venture black hole not a concern, says scientist. I would be very concerned. Uh, let's see. What was the name of it? Oh, yeah, black suffering. That's it. Just up there. So uh, yeah, apparently they've got a uh, board game of this now. So uh, which I mean, I think. North Korea is a North Korea rescues a space station. 
or the space station or whatever. But uh, yeah, I just found it kind of uh, I just find it kind of odd that there's a board game of this now. So uh, no, I mean, it's it's something that I find a little odd. But at the same time, I see people like on Twitter or whatnot posting different stuff about it. I'm like, that actually kind of looks fun. So part of me is like, I would like to get that. So. Because especially now, I've been getting like quite a few different like cards or board games to play with my family. But uh, yeah. Okay, so we've got 40 to 8 points now, so we should be able to. There we go, get all that stuff, get all the good stuff. Already do a bunch of stuff to people's brains, just. I don't know what's that, what that's doing to their brains, but yeah. Uh, no, apparently the zombies did not lose their posture, apparently. That's how it looked whenever you're standing straight up. Uh, let's see, that's 12. I think one of the things I really should do is get the ability to uh, uh, increase chances of mutating. So that way I don't have to worry about getting a bunch of, uh, or saving up a bunch of uh, DNA points to get stuff. I can just have the disease mutated on its own. That seems like a good idea. One, two, twelve. Just need two more DNA points. One more now. Uh, let's see. Pretty much we've got the small little section of Africa. And a little bit of Asia. I think, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure all of that's part of Asia. There we go. Got all that, so now we can move on to the stuff over there. So, from what, uh, from what we learned last time, it should be 24 DNA points that we need. 13, just need like 11 more DNA points. We should be able to get the rest of the, get these in one foul swoop. Just waiting on DNA points right now. 20 right now. That's good. 21. Uh, let's see. 22. 23. And 24. So now we should be able to get all of these at once. There we go. There we go. Now we're out of DNA points, but now our disease is significantly more infective. Somewhat. It's not significantly more effective, but it's quite a bit more effective. Yeah. Also, we should get that, because that'll be very useful. Now that's the only one of this that you can get, because in the other diseases, in the regular diseases, it gives you uh, two of these genetic hardening things, but uh. Unfortunately, it only gives you that one for this. I don't know why. Part of me kind of wishes I knew. It probably just ran out of space, that's probably why. Let's see. How much is that? That's 25. Should I get this? Because this will increase the likelihood of viable mutations. Do you want us to say virus splits its genome into smaller molecules, increasing the likelihood of viable mutations during infection. So yeah, I guess I guess we should save up for that, which luckily we're just really close to it. Just need that one. And there we go. So now this will increase the chances of it mutating quite a bit. At the same time, we should also try and spend some DNA points so that way we don't fully rely on the mutation, because it may not mutate whenever we need it to or want it to. Black suffering is placed on watch list. Hypersalivation symptom mutated. Okay, that's actually a little bit more than I thought it would. It really shuts down airports. But, uh, yeah. World Cup. The World Cup has been cancelled. World Cup has... The World Cup has been cancelled due to fears over black suffering. Oh, what else is to do? It 
gives insomnia and it makes people salivate more. It's not that bad, I think. Mm. That should increase its mutations, right? Uh, I think that does, yeah. That's not what I wanted. This. Fever. There we go. Photophobia. There we go. Just make it even closer to, uh, or should it be delirium. And reduction in, cogn in cognitive function causes irritation and paranoia. can be fatal and significantly slows research speed. Alright, first death in Sudan. Okay. So now pretty soon we should be able to make zombies in pretty much all of the places. France is leading the global cure effort. So I wonder if this disease is easier to cure since it makes zombies. Global research is focused on cure. Because once you start making zombies, it's pretty much... It's gonna... Like, the cure won't have any effect on the zombie psychosis. Psychosis. Just making people insane. Psychosis. Psycho psychotic episodes lead to occasional bursts of extreme violence, which can be fatal, increases infectivity, and slows research speed. really need to get this, which is 13. Come on, they're so close to uh, curing it again. Come on, I need more DNA points, disease. Give me more of your DNA points, more than just that one. Paranoia in Turkey, people in, Tur people in Turkey are extremely paranoid or and are more likely to take extreme actions to slow black suffering. Cure is 95% complete. Uh, crap. They have cured it. Come on, seriously, I really need this disease. Come on. That wasn't it. Although that will kill people off more quickly. But I don't need that. I need to make... I need to have my disease turn people into zombies. Come on. Black suffering to be eradicated? Crap. No. No, 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 Crap. Crap. Ah. <sighs> well, I guess that's good enough for now, so thank you guys for watching this video. I am going to spend some time uh, between this episode and the next episode just getting some more uh, genes to use. Maybe we can get some zombie ones. Maybe I'll just do it in casual mode or something, but, uh, yeah, so I, uh, guess just end it off here, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.